Bismillahirrahmanirrahim class 9 children this evening i have made four different new videos for maths only for maths so inshallah uh, on coming monday i will make only uh, some new videos for physics okay so starting from lecture number 19 of chapter number 4 okay so now get slowly slowly we are moving and finishing this chapter number 4 last exercise is going on you know question number 2 in question number 2 girls let's suppose if we have this expression can i say this expression is basically binomial third under root 7 is a third and plus 3 is basically now this plus 3 is making this whole expression as binomial third means two values third so binomial third so now if you have any binomial third so in the previous lectures girls i have discussed in detail about third and binomial third in detail theek hai so you can watch let's suppose if you have forgotten all these things so you can watch those videos again then hopefully there will be no problem for you theek hai so starting from this this is binomial third and if we have to write the conjugate of this binomial third so only we change the sign of middle value so here in between these two values we have plus so make it minus similarly if here is minus make it positive so it means that will be known as conjugate of this binomial third so we have this binomial third and its conjugate value after by ch after changing the sign so you will get 3 minus under root 17 which is basically known as conjugate of this given binomial third similarly you can change the sign from part number 1 part number 2 up till part number 8 this is your part number 1 that we have done so part number 2 up till part number 8 you can do by yourself very simple okay now guys starting from question number 2 question number 2 part number 1 now you have x value and value of x is basically again a binomial third x value is basically binomial third if means given whenever in maths if is written in the statement it means that is given to you and according to question statement you need the value of 1 over x x is given 1 over x is the required so now this value is given it means we have to use this given value okay and how can we find out the value of x 1 over x by taking reciprocal on both sides so taking reciprocal so when i take reciprocal of this x it will become 1 over x reciprocal of this value will become 1 over 2 minus under root 3 so 1 over x you value you have this is the value of 1 over x by taking this value after taking reciprocal now we get the value of 1 over x by using this x this 1 over x value is not acceptable because we have a binomial third in denominator as we have ex i have already explained to you in the previous video that whenever you have any expression in maths possessing third in denominator then you multiply and divide the whole expression by that third but if you have an expression in which there is a binomial third in denominator so math says that now you have to eliminate this binomial third from denominator and what is the procedure now keep this value as it is multiply and divide by the conjugate so what is conjugate of 2 minus under root 3 2 plus under root 3 so keeping this first value as it is multiplying and dividing by conjugate so you will get this expression theek hai so now one multiply by these two values you will get as it is you will get 2 plus under root 3 here when you multiply these two values they are same like a plus b into a minus b so a plus b into a minus b equals to what a square minus b square theek hai so 1 over x equals to this value numerator as it is 2 square is 4 square radical sign cancel out you will get 4 minus 3 and 4 minus 3 mean 1 1 has no value in denominator so ultimately you will get 1 over x value is 2 plus under root 3 which is your required answer but mind it girls here when you have taken and when you had taken the reciprocal of this value this was 1 over x value 
But why this 1 over x value is not acceptable? There is binomial set existing here. There is binomial set in this value of 1 over x even existing here. But this binomial set is not existing in denominator. This is in numerator. But here whenever you have a binomial set in denominator then you adopt this procedure. Is it clear? Since here is no value existing in denominator. That's why we will keep this answer as it is because this is our required answer. Then on the same pattern girls, hopefully you are able to solve part number 2. So I have written here do yourself this part number 2. Okay. So now please wait for the next video number 20.